A new political alliance of the left is taking shape in Honduras. And now it comes as a response by social movements and the left-wing Libre Party to attacks on the working class and the Camposino movement by the government. Our correspondent Gerardo Torres now with this report. Funding Force, or FRP in Spanish, is an internal movement of the opposition leftist Libre Party and has opened its doors to receive candidates of a new alliance signed on Wednesday by different social movement leaders that will begin a unified campaign that has as a main goal to change the composition of the National Congress in the next elections that will take place in 2017. Basically, the National Congress has been filled with industrial businessmen and important landowners that represent the most conservative sectors of society. At the moment, the Congress legislates in favor of financial capital that now is the owner of a large part of the country's capital. In the 2013 elections, the left-wing Libre Party promoted social movement leaders as candidates. Paula Duran was a leader of the T-shirt movement and now is a Congress member of the Department of Yoro. She believes that this alliance will encourage and support more social movement leaders to participate in elections and get to the National Congress. The importance of this is that it grows out of different experiences, of rural experiences and rural needs, of the experiences of the big cities and the needs of those cities. We are building from this everything we need to design future strategies with citizenship participation, which will allow us access to the prosperity and the happiness that we have a right to. The announcement of this alliance that promised a two-year political strategy takes place five days after the May 1st demonstration, where the Honduran working class denounced that they are living the worst conditions in the last 100 years and promise more direct actions to stop President Juan Hernandez from holding on to power and implementing more and more neoliberal policies. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America.